Do you believe that you can heal yourself? Too often we give our power away to something outside of ourselves and rarely, if ever, trust and tap into our innate healing power and intuition. Everyone has this capability to heal in ways we never thought possible. It's your sovereign right to claim and have true health and lasting wellness. Now, here is the host of the Dr. Dolores Show, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. Well, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in our wonderful world. Welcome to another episode on the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And today we have a special guest who's, this is his second time on our show, Tom Palladino. And I'm just going to, to read a little bit about him because we're going to talk about healing of the future. And what that entails is um, scalar energy healing. So Tom Palladino is a scalar energy research based in Florida. And scalar energy is the fundamental life force found everywhere in the world, space, and the universe. It originates from the sun and stars. Chi, prana, om, mana, life force, pyramid energy, or zero point energy are synonymous terms for scalar energy. He theorized that all energy in the universe initiates as scalar energy and that the sun of our solar system and the stars of the universe are the points of origin or the storehouses for scalar energy. He further theorized that scalar energy is instructive energy as the entire universe is instructed by the divine essence. Subsequently, all spiritual, cognitive, emotional, and physical action in the universe is initiated and maintained by scalar energy instructions. Scalar energy provides order in the universe. And, you know, Tom, you were here several months ago when we talked about scalar energy. And what's been interesting is that I've been utilizing your methodology for the last several months. And, you know, for me being evidence-based it's like for me as far as tracking the changes for myself I did it with with labs and and blood work and initially when I started back in November um your program and for you know, it's been almost four months now I had another lab another set of labs drawn and I'm just blown away by the results for me, a lot of issues have a lot to do with inflammation and inflammation markers, and mine have come into um, more of a normal range than what they had been before. So I'm just very excited about this, and I know that there's more to come, but I want to hear what you have to say about all of this. That's wonderful news. And again, thank you, doctor, for the opportunity to speak to your audience. Well, we're going to speak about energy healing, scalar energy healing, scalar light, which is the energy of the sun and the stars. This is a new science. So if you've never heard of this prior to this conversation, well, you're not alone. We're cutting edge. When I'm working with engineered instruments to produce what I call quantum healing, informational healing, we're working at the quantum level. All of my work is non-physical. So this is a new approach to wellness, not through the biological avenue, but through the energetic avenue. And you know what, that's really where we are going. We are starting to see a shift in, in paradigms in a lot of areas. Um, and you know, of course my niche is healthcare and we're starting to see things start to, um, we're seeing a lot of crumbling of systems and why is it people continue to be sicker than ever and yeah. we aren't getting better. And I feel we're on the precipice of leaping into something more of the unknown and untangible as we move forward in the future. So I really feel that this is a huge possibility as moving forward and, and maybe even a necessity. I concur. We need answers. As a theorist, as an inventor, I offer answers. I solve problems. And this new technology is going to solve many problems. 
So stick with us this hour. We're going to show you how easy it is now to achieve quantum health, energetic health very easily, and you don't have to leave your home. That's the that's the thing that I feel that many people in our audience are having a maybe a challenge wrapping our brain around that because it's like, how does this happen? Just explain yeah. it better for us, Tom. Okay. I'm going to preface. Doctor okay. and I are having a conversation. Doctor is not in my computer. I'm not in her computer. We're discussing matters. We're exchanging ideas through a computer. Well, I work with people and I work through a computer. These are scalar energy instruments. I don't work with people. I work with their image, their photograph. Now, I can see Dr. Dolores. I can see her image. She can see my image. Well, why do we work with a photograph? This image has energy attached to it, intelligence. And I actually place a photograph inside the instrument. So we're working at the energetic level, at the quantum level. Now, what do I mean by that? With scalar energy, you can be in two places simultaneously. You actually teleport to my laboratory by way of your photograph energetically. Now, Dr. Dolores is not in my laboratory, but I can see her. If Dr. Dolores was to send me her photograph, then she would teleport to the instrument and enjoy that energy coming off the instrument. That instrument is healing the aura, or if you will, the pattern body or the informational body. So we don't never work with people. This is non-physical. We only work with auras or a force field. And we work through this custom built instrument through the force field of a photograph. This is all cutting edge technology. Thanks for that explanation, Tom. I appreciate that. And that really makes a lot of sense because it's like you are, it's almost like when people have distant healing, like energy healing, um, they could be in any part of the world, yet yeah. the further away you are sometimes from having a session from somebody, sometimes you really feel it more so than if you were in the same room with them. Yes, that's right. That's right. So <clears throat> there is no distance in the scalar energy universe, so to speak. Now, again, if we can have this instantaneous communication through a computer, then why can't we have instantaneous communication through a person's photograph? A hundred years ago, if you would have said two computers can speak to one another, people would be dubious. Well, I realize people are dubious that a, a photograph can communicate, but it does. Yes, Everything it does. has energy. Everything has an intelligence. My photograph is me. In other words, my soul, mind, and body is on that photograph. My heart rate is on that photograph right now. My genetic code is on that photograph. My aura my emotions are all found in that force field of that photograph. The new science of working with photographs and not working with people. That's interesting. And, you know, this kind of triggers something for me in a good way. It's like, you know, we have pictures of our loved ones with us. And sometimes if they have passed away, if you look at their pictures, it's like they look dull, especially if they passed away. Have you noticed that as well? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, that to me has been just like, whoa, that's pretty trippy. But it's just like their life force has changed from that photo, even though, you know, it's like their present time, wherever they are, if they're no longer here in existence, it kind of fades away. You know, do you agree with that or? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. Well, I'm going to give the audience a, for instance, my predecessor, a man by the name of Hieronymus, was working with NASA. He was working with the Apollo 11 astronauts, and by way of their photograph, he was able to connect with the photographs through this force field and monitor the astronauts when they were on the moon on their lunar orbit. Now, what does that mean? Well, regardless of distance or whether you're alive or dead, the photograph still connects to your aura. Now, this was proven, at least NASA and Dr. Hieronymus, my predecessor, proved it through working through the photograph of the Apollo 11 astronauts. So if you can work with astronauts who are a quarter million miles away, then we can ascertain people who've gone to, to their rest, who are deceased, they still have an aura. Now, the aura has lost its vitality, but it's still you, you can still pinpoint 
on somebody's photograph that it is indeed their aura or their signature. Interesting, interesting. But it's dampened, obviously, because yes. they're over here. Got yes. it. Yep. Cool. Wow. So, you know, I know when we spoke last in November at the tail end of our conversation, and this kind of stuck to me, it's like, People who have specific disease processes, and I think you said something about a group of people from India that were diagnosed with um, HIV right. and AIDS. Yeah. And could you share more about that story? Because yeah. I think that's really yeah. mind-boggling and how that how that works yeah. through the scalar technology. It is mind-boggling. I'm going to hold up a photograph. This is a photograph of the clinic, Om Prakash. It's an HIV AIDS clinic in Delhi, India. And I've worked with over 5,000 people from this clinic by way of their photograph. Now, to be clear, I've never been in India. I don't need to go to India. People from India do not need to come to the United States. By working with this photograph and matching it up with the HIV virus, the two force fields communicate. The energy of HIV communicates with the people, with their force field, let's say. And we can identify the HIV virus on the people in their force field and eradicate. Now, again, we never work with people. We don't need to. We're working at a higher level. Energetically, we're working with their information body. We're working with their aura. Now, everybody that I work with in India has told me after working with them and matching up and communicating the HIV virus with their photograph, they feel better. Many of those people no longer have a viral load for HIV. This is one of the test results. This is a PCR test from the clinic. Mm -hmm. This individual no longer has a viral load for HIV after submitting their photograph to us. So that begs the question, why? Why do people feel better? Why, do they, why are they asymptomatic? And why are so many of their test results undetectable for the virus. That's, that is mind boggling too. And, you know, I would imagine that it varies from person to person because it's all individual. So, yeah. you know, maybe, it, I, do you have any idea like, and I know this is kind of putting you on the spot as far as um, the time length of the treatment versus the, the transition over? We usually see a, a favorable transition within two to three months. Got it. Now, keep in mind, some of these people had full-blown AIDS. Right, right, right. But right. after two to three months, they see a difference. And I would say at many of them, after four or five months, this is in their words, they are asymptomatic. They don't have any symptoms of, of HIV infection. Wow, that's 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 mind boggling to me. It's just like, wow, holy cow. Yeah. So, you know, so what do you think is new as far as what's going to be happening in the future? What's your vision? Well, I, I'm reaching out to people around the world. I want to get them involved. And we're, the response thus far is really favorable. So we're very emboldened that that people are starting to catch on and they believe in this or they see the big picture. Mm -hmm, I'm going to mm -hmm. give the audience another for instance. We've been working with many farmers now and ranchers around the world. This is a particular goat farm in Tanzania. So our work is expanding, not just to people, but to livestock. Oh, wow. We're also, we're also working with farmers with their crops because everything has a life force energy to it. And you can access that through a photograph. So what, what am I getting at? We're expanding in all different directions now. People, animals, plants. I have friends in Hawaii who sent me photographs of the ohia tree. The ohia tree had a uh, fungal infection. And after working with the photographs of the trees from Hawaii, people report that the trees no longer have this fungal blight. Wow. Bear in mind, it, this is easy to do. This is easy to accomplish by way of a photograph. The photograph carries the force field. So to answer your question... We're starting to expand and rather rapidly. The word is out. People see the favorable results. And that's the key to my research right now. Testimonies, favorable results. This cannot be proven. Nobody's ever duplicated my work. Right. So we, we rely upon testimonies. The testimonies are excellent. Well, thank you, Tom, for that. And, you know, we're getting ready to 
to go hop on to our first break. So uh, everybody who's listening, you're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And today we're talking about scalar energy healing with researcher Tom Palladino. And it's been a real exciting first segment. So stay tuned. And when we come back, we'll talk more. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to The Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for The Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And I'm so delighted today to have a return guest, Tom Palladino, who is a researcher with Scalar Energy healing. And, you know, he's got an amazing offer for people. And if you go to his website, scalarlight.com, you could actually enroll and get two weeks worth of um, this magical therapy that is going to really rock your world. And I invite you to, to partake in that. So Tom, tell us more about your offering. Uh, in order to prove or at least demonstrate to people the benefits, I think it's pertinent that people sign up for our free sessions. We give away 15 days of free sessions. So the website is scalarlight.com. Now keep in mind, your only responsibility is to send us a photograph. The age of the photograph does not matter. You're gonna email us your photograph. Keep it very simple. You go to our website, you can email your photograph, you can send photographs of your family members. Now it's easy for me at the end of the day, I simply download and print these photographs out and I place them inside the instrument. So why is this so simple, so straightforward? We're working with energy and energy does all the work. You don't have to do the work. I don't have to do the work. These are energy instruments. The energy instruments do the work. So take us up on the offer. For 15 days, we will balance your chakras, we'll identify microbes and eliminate microbes and we can also download deliver nutrients, antioxidants, vitamins, fatty acids, amino acids, all through your photographic force field. It's not a chemical process. It's a new science where we can work with you energetically and send the information necessary to administer, to assemble, to maintain vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. Well, you know, and what's so beautiful about this too, it's like getting the benefits of all those medications or, uh, you know, herbal remedies or even vitamins without having to ingest it and yes. get the potential side effects for it. Yes. Yes. That's, to me, that's yeah. like brilliant. Yes, and it, it, just, it just goes on even further that drives home the fact that everything is energy yes. and has an energetic component to yes. it. Every it's day. Just, I, you're right. Yeah. Every day I'm, I'm administering hundreds of micronutrients to myself through a photograph of the micronutrient. 
Yeah. And the key to this is the intelligence of riboflavin is downloaded into me. It's not a chemical process. Hence, there's no, if you will, opportunity for some type of detox or chemical overload or rash or dizziness or any type of, if, if you will, chemical reaction whatsoever. The energy of riboflavin is downloaded into my quantum field. This is the easy, safe way of getting your vitamins. I like that because, you know, unfortunately, we're in a society where everybody's popping pills and for this and for that. And it's just like you could take a handful of pharmaceuticals or whatever. And it's just like that's, you know, I, I, I'm done. <laughs> You know, the, the pharmaceuticals have their limit. Yeah. And they, they, they have to be used with caution. What do I like what I'm doing? There's no mistake. You cannot make a mistake with energy. First of all, the energy administers what needs to be administered. There's no human reasoning with my work. And then if I use a photograph of a vitamin, I don't interpret. This is not a chemical that I have to create, administer, interpret, and measure. The energy of riboflavin is administered. It's non-chemical. It's non-physical. So my work is without negative side effects. There's no untoward experience. It's safe and painless and effective. Well, you know, the other thing, too, that I've noticed since I've been doing one of your programs since November is that um, my sleep state but also the i've been dreaming more i mean i was a pretty vivid dreamer before but it seems like this has enhanced it to another level could you tell us more yeah. about why that is so why do i think that you've been enlightened and i mean that quite literally i'm going to hold up a, a, a light bulb in my hand okay then it's factory packaging when i pass it by the instrument the light bulb enlightens now this the identical energy that will enlighten a light bulb is the identical energy that is going into our minds and our chakras through this program. I'll explain. If I hold my photograph next to the instrument with the light bulb side by side, I am being enlightened as that light is being enlightened. So I'm enjoying that identical light in my brain waves. My delta waves, my theta waves are, are being enhanced. The chakras are receiving that white light. So through the interface of a photograph, I can access, once again, my aura, my force field. It's not a chemical process. We're working on a higher level. That is a chakra balancing. And this is why people have an enhanced dream state. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. No, I, I've just, and you know, the other thing too, I, I think, well, when we started the program, I also sent over a picture of my cat, Gracie for like the two week thing. And because she was like a hot mess as far as being anxious and stressed down. And she was probably picking up a lot of my energy because animals do that. Animals have a tendency to take on the energy of their owner. And yes. so if you really want to see what's going on with your, with you, look at your pets yes. because even though it is, we're, we're might be immune to it or not open to seeing it, we may be more stressed out than we know, and our animal friends are trying to um, bring that energy to neutrality. So poor Gracie was like totally wigged out, meaning that she was over grooming and stuff like that. And she had bald spots on her, you know, from the latter, the back end of her, her uh, body. And when we sent her picture to you as well, it's like she started calming down and it's just like she stopped the over grooming, which has been very interesting as well. Oh, really? That's, yeah. that's promising. Yeah, it's very promising. So I, but I'm more hyper aware now of, you know, how she's reacting because she takes on the energy of me as well. So it's interesting. She's my barometer and buffer. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a great point. I have two dogs. My dogs are very calm and, and tranquil. And they're, they're essentially, I think, germ-free. And, and <laughs> what's, what's the point here? Well, I don't baby my dogs. My dogs are dogs. And obviously, a dog does not know they're being treated. So there's no placebo effect. Right. So does this, does this work? I think it does. Yeah. I've worked with elephants, by the way, in India. I've worked with uh, kangaroos in Australia. 
And after working with elephants and kangaroos, and, and again, there's no placebo effect there, those animals improved in health. So I'd say that there's something valid. You know, and I'm it just I'm thinking as you're talking, it's just like, you know, I'm wonder I'm sure you've probably worked with this with bodies of polluted water to heal the water as well. Is that true? Or that's that's correct. There's so many applications. Some people have sent me photographs of their uh their pool or their jacuzzi, and I've been able to uh, if you will, treat out algae, the buildup of algae. So the it really the mind boggles how many applications. Why? This is the energy of the sun and the stars. Whatever right. the energy of the sun and the stars is responsible for, whatever intelligence, well, this is a miniature star. If I can light up a light bulb, well, just like a star, I can light up the world with it. So the, if you will, the application, the, the possibility, practical applications of this energy are astounding. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm sitting here and I could just see into the future of how this could be such a instrumental part of everyday reality. And, you know, unfortunately it's going to probably ruffle a lot of feathers, but you know what, that's okay. The feathers need to be ruffled because, you know, what had been working before no longer works and we're moving into a higher vibrating time where we're going to be open to many more possibilities that are coming down the pipeline. You're, you're right. This is a, a, a new opportunity for mankind. This technology initially was introduced by Tesla, Nikola Tesla, the great scientist. Mm -hmm. Tesla, was, by the way, was able to, to take a light bulb and, and illuminate a light bulb at a distance of miles. I can't do that. I will eventually be able to do that. What is the point? Over 100 years ago, Tesla wanted to give us scalar energy. He called it radiant energy. And Tesla realized that this energy was from the sun, the stars. And he, in so doing, wanted to end the energy crisis. Yeah. If you can tap into the sun and the stars, you don't need to create any energy. All of the energy is there in the sun and the stars. True that. True that. So I could see where it would really be a conflict of interest for the people who are are supposedly running the show. But you know what? That's going to all shift as well, too, and it, it, over the next several decades. So it's just very exciting times here on planet Earth, I think. <laughs> I, I concur. This, this technology will change the world. Mm -hmm. What Tesla started over 100 years ago, we're going to complete. And the world should have free, clean energy. Oh, no, no. I totally That's, agree. I totally agree. Well, good. You know, I love that. I love that vision and and so on and so forth. But, you know, circling back to Tesla, too, you know, his I, I've read up on him and, you know, they pretty much, you know, squelched his uh, power and kind of put him in a box on a shelf so nobody could go there. And it's so interesting how now we have you know, uh, the technology that you're researching, but also, you know, the electric cars and everything else that were all part of the same uh, paradigm, if you want to call it that. So it's interesting. It's like the time has come for it now, more so it, than ever. It, it has. So many people are open to this. What Tesla lacked over 100 years ago was the internet. And we did not have this dissemination of information. Now people have heard of this. Now people can grasp this concept. Yeah. So keep in mind, just consider what free energy from the sun and the stars will do for the world and how this will solve so many problems. Please pray upon this, people. Welcome this gift. This is a gift from God. Welcome this free energy. I agree 100%, you know, and, and so once again, it's time for us to, to go to our next break. But, you know, I invite people to go to Tom's website, scalarlight.com, and check out his website, but also enroll yourself into his 14 day free sessions to experience this energy for yourself. So you're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Pizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive and energy whisperer. And we're here with my guest, Tom Palladino, and we're talking about scalar energy. So come back. 
when we're done with break and we'll continue and carry on some more. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network, and I'm Dr. Dolores Vazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, your host. And today, we're having an interesting dialogue with the way healing will probably be experienced in the very near future. And my guest today is Tom Palladino, and he's a scalar energy researcher, and he has done some amazing work with energy so tom carry on and just tell us some more stories here yeah okay so we're doing a great deal of pro bono work around the world that's really true to my heart i'm I'm a humanitarian i'm going to quickly go through this this is a a report that we received from tanzania these are photographs of people from tanzania at one time in their life everybody in this photograph is hiv positive And according to these people, after submitting their photograph to us, not one of them has a viral load. And the only distinction is that every one of them was under our scalar energy session. So if we can work with people around the world through their force field, through a photograph, and we have great success, why not not make this a global healing ministry? That's where we're going with this. Every one of these photographs that I've just demonstrated, everybody is now HIV undetectable, no viral load. I've never been to Tanzania, but according to these folks, they feel great. Why not the entire world? Why don't we work with a billion people a year? That's one of my goals, so I'll I'll make that public. I've done this before. Why not work with a billion people a year? A photograph is so easy. It's easy to miniaturize the photographs and work with a billion photographs a year. Join us. Become a part of this grassroots movement. We're all grassroots. There's no board of directors that I answer to. I answer to God. And He's the best best board of director. (laughs) I mention that because I've designed the company around that notion. Grassroots, safe and easy, no political intrigue. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get to the point where I can work with a billion people a year, but we need you to sign up for the free sessions. You need to have a favorable experience and tell your friends and family. Now, at the end of the day, I'm all about results. And when I show you a PCR test that is undetected from the clinic in India, or I show you another test result, here's another PCR test from Om Prakash, no detectable viral load. This should start to resonate, and it is with people, that there's merit to this. Even though it's difficult to grasp, how how is it that a photograph carries energy? It does. Everything has energy. How is it that Tom can work with people halfway around the world? 
People come to me through their photograph. That's how. It's a new science. The long and short of it is, after we put all the science to the side, and after all, all of the, if you will, if we were trying to put this under a microscope, I understand. After all of that discernment, let's get going and let's heal the world. That's the point. I love that mission and it is so well needed right now. It's yeah. And I feel as time progresses, more and more people are going to just be waking up and realizing, okay, you know, this is good. We're in a wave of a lot of people, you know, becoming aware. And, and this is, this is huge. And it's so important that, we focus on ourselves and being the best version of who we are. And that means having radiant health and wellness. And if this is one way of assisting with that, I say, go for it. Uh, you know, I, I know that I've sent neighbors to you as well. And I'm going to share what one neighbor was walking with a cane and having problems sleeping. We sent her your photo and within a, a week's time, she was not walking with the cane anymore and she was resting well. So, yes. and she has said since then, she's over there. That was the most amazing thing because, you know, this has really helped her. Yeah. So, you know, when Thank you me. see things like that, you know, in, in people that you know, it's just, it's amazing. Thank you. We've received thousands of testimonies from people around the world. And according to those testimonies, something favorable is taking place. It's a new science. Yes. Can we can we grasp it? We're just starting to grasp it. But the, the long and short of it, it's safe and effective. And that's why I do this. This is safe and effective. And you know what? I always invite my audience. It's like, just experiment with it. What do you have to lose? It's you're getting two weeks for free. It's just like, check it out, see how you feel. And and then, you know, move forward if you resonate with it or not. It, it's just, to me, it's like a no brainer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just like, what do you got to lose? It's just like, it's energy. So it'll be a real great way or opportunity for people to experience that without having, you know, you know, any side effects or yeah. any repercussions. Yeah, that, thank you. I, I've worked with actually millions of people around the world thus far, and obviously through their photographs. I've never had anybody report that they were dizzy or had experienced inflammation or Herxheimer reaction or some type of chemical detox. It's impossible. We're working at the level of information. We're not working at a biological level. Right. So this is always painless. Oh, it's always safe. We're not working with the physical body. We're working with a force field. Right, the energy. And, you know, I, I could say this because I'm, you know, in Western medicine and Western medicine trained. It's like, I know Western medicine is always saying, well, if it can't be proven, it doesn't really exist. And, you know, this is one of those things that um, we know it does work. And we just don't have the technology or the ability to measure this, right. to give it, you know, card blanc or give our power away to it if they want to call it that. Right. But yeah. the point is, is that so many things in historically in our lives and world have been something similar to this, that people were doubting the existence of it and didn't think it was real and it's been proven to be real yes so it just that to me is mind-boggling that people you're, just, yeah you're absolutely right it is real now go back to over 100 years ago tesla was working with this energy and tesla had similar instruments as our mind this instrument has no moving parts why it's not a motor this instrument captures the energy, the kinetic energy of the sun and the stars. So you can't think in terms of kinetic energy. We, this instrument does not create the kinetic energy. It captures that energy from the sun and the stars. So Tessa had instruments that had no moving parts. They were silent in operation. 
but they absorb, they capture the energy of the sun and the stars. That's what I do. I capture that energy. So it's a new branch of physics and it's filled with possibilities. It has so much potential. And thank you once again for allowing me to share this with your audience. Oh, you're so welcome, Tom. I think it's so, it's so where humanity is going as we progress with our ascension. I think it's essential and people need to know about this. And once again, if you are listening and you want to take advantage of Tom's free offer, please go to his website, scalarlight.com and just go sign up and give him, send over your picture and experience what this is like for yourself. So, you know, the other thing that kind of comes to mind as well, when we look at um, the way humanity is starting to shift and looking at different ways of generating electricity, like solar panels and stuff like that. That's like capturing energy from the sun what? and the stars, correct? Of course, sure it is. And that's yeah. a great analogy. So we are trying to get away from fossil fuels. that They are limited. So many people have solar panels on their home. Yes, the, the, I think the key to energy generation is the sun and the stars in the future. It's inexpensive and it's safe. And that's where we have to go. Energy production is too expensive today. Oh, it's it hurting is. the economy. Oh, for sure. And the thing is, what I'm finding interesting as a sidebar, because I have solar panels on my home, and all of a sudden, the electric company wants to charge a, I live in California, a fee to, you know, because they're losing money obviously, and they're trying to recapture their money. And I find that to be, you know, just horrible because it's just like, all right, so, you know, it's like they have an agenda and it's it's an old paradigm and I know it's crumbling, but it's like, unfortunately, many of us are kind of sick of it. <laughs> yes, yes you know? we are. Yeah. Well, the old technology must go out. Otherwise, we'd still be driving around in a horse and buggy. Are we, or we wouldn't have our modern day conveniences. So we always have to welcome progress. And yes, yes industry changes. Yes, everything's going to change. But that's, that's good. It's, it's going to be good for society. So I welcome progress. I welcome change. I don't want anybody to be out of a job. We're going to create new jobs. We'll create new opportunities. Exactly. You can't hold on to what, what is broken. There are many broken paradigms in this world. Why hold on to them? It doesn't suit. Well, you know, not only that, too, and it's just like I know from a personal standpoint, too, it's like when things are no longer aligned with you energetically, they fall away. But why are you still so attached to it that you just can't let go of it? So the big lesson for me is about being less being, you know, detached or not attached with what's going on and just allowing yourself to go with the flow and not go down the rabbit hole of fear, lack, and, um, you know, whatever that is, because I don't want to be creating from that aspect. Thank you. Bravo. So we're solving problems. The key is to solve problems. What's the point of research? What's the point of technology to make our lives better? If we look around, we look around our homes, we live in luxury compared to how they lived 100 years ago, 200 years ago. Very true. Let, let's keep advancing. Let technology be our tool. This is great technology. Thank you once again for allowing me to share this with the Choices Network. Oh, you're so welcome. And it's such a pleasure to have you you here and just to share where we're going because it's just, I, I believe it's bringing awareness to the masses and just giving people possibilities of what can and and will and most likely happen so you know i once again this has been a whiz of a episode and we're ready for our next break so you're listening to the dr dolores show on inspired choices network i'm dr dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner medical intuitive and energy whisperer and i'm here with my special guest tom paladino and we're talking about scalar energy so when we come back we're going to wrap it up and um talk a little bit more about what's to come. Talk to you soon. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. 
Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to The Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm so delighted to have shared this last 45 minutes with Tom Palladino, my guest today. And he researches scalar energy. And this is the energy that is going to be transformative for the future healing of humanity, I feel, in more ways than you can imagine, the physical, the mental, emotional, spiritual, and dimensional aspects. So, Tom, you know, tell us what, you know, in your own words and, and what you're feeling and speak from your heart, What what is your message to the world? I want to help the world. This is all about helping people. This is a humanitarian outreach. If it resonates with you, contact us. I'm going to give you a for instance. Today in my lab, I work with half a million photographs. This is how much we're growing. We receive thousands of photographs every day. I work with half a million photographs. So we're well on our way to eventually working with a billion photographs a year. Now imagine what that's going to do, how that's going to improve people, their, their health, their psychic health, their spiritual health, their physical health, and how this is going to help, if you will, with farm animals, livestock, and how we can, if you will, end a blight, a fungal blight with trees, et cetera, et cetera. How this will, if you will, bring us back to health. Why not? It's the simple, painless, cost-effective method to produce quantum health. So if this is a, a call out to everybody. Join us. I am the one researcher behind this. You will not, you're not answering to a board of directors. I've purposely kept this hermetically sealed, so to speak. I've purposely kept this healing ministry at a grassroots level so that no nefarious forces can interfere with us. And they, they're not able to. So it's all about doing God's will and working with the people. Please join us. At least try the 15-day trial. You'll convince yourself that it works. Thank you, Tom, so much. And it's just a delight to have you on. We'll definitely have to have you on again in the future. So please, everybody, take advantage of his free offer. Um, I know that I I always try things out and I it's basically rocked my world. And my labs continue to, to show that. Um, you know, I want to talk about a segue off to um, what we're going to be talking about next week. So, you know, we talk about um, being perfect <laughs> for those people who are stuck with that word of, you know what, if I'm not, it, it's got to be perfect or, you know, you kind of paralyze yourself from moving forward. So this is the show for you people, because we're going to be talking about breaking the chains of being perfect. Okay. Who could relate to that? Have you found that being perfect robs you of being in the present moment? In this riveting episode on the Dr. Dolores Show, we dwell deep into the complex labyrinth of perfectionism, exploring its paralyzing effects and providing a roadmap for liberation. Listen in as recovering perfectionist, yours truly, your host, invites you on a transformative journey where you confront the unrealistic standards we set for ourselves and unlock the secrets of general growth. So... You know, for those recovering perfectionists, I invite you to, to tune in and to check out what's happening. And also, if you're one of those people, too, that has a tendency to be a perfectionist, but also not be in the present moment at the same time or do both or one or the other, I invite you to go to my website and get your free copy of 
um, being in the present moment, which is a guided meditation that allows you to experience what it's like to be in the present moment and being anchored in your body, because that's all we really have is the present moment. So circling back to, you know, our guest, our lovely guest and all his insights and information, you know, it just dawned on me too. It's just like, this would be so amazing for like crops and not having to do GMO type stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just like the, it's endless. It's like, there's so many possibilities and, you know, as far as pesticides and, and, you know, working with crops and, and being able to get bountiful production without having to fertilize or uh, contaminate and add, you know, all these pesticides yeah. and stuff to the mix. Oh my God, that yeah. would be amazing. You're, you're absolutely right. If we can deliver vitamins to people, why can't we deliver vitamins to plants, to animals? We can. This is the inexpensive way of producing a favorable nutritional balance for people, animals, and plants through energy. Gone are the days of having these expensive treatments. Gone are the days of working with chemicals. It's much easier, much simpler. And the energy is the perfect delivery system. You don't have to worry about an overdose. Yeah. Well, you know, the other thing too, and I think of what's happening too with, um, you know, we went through this nasty pandemic, you know, for four years and thank God we're on the other side of it. And, you know, just with those type of things as well, um, instituting this type of technology with anything that's possibly on the radar has so much great potential too. Thank you so much. I'll say this during the pandemic, my family and friends were very healthy. My family and friends were very healthy. Now, it's anecdotal, I know, but I I, uh, I did not have the symptoms of, of uh, COVID-19. I was healthy during the pandemic. Yeah, and I know why. <laughs> Imagine that. It yeah, works. Imagine that. It works, yeah. So, hey, you know, I'm excited to see what's what's to come next. And, and once again, Tom, thank you so much for coming back on the show. It's just been very enlightening and very inspirational. And I really encourage people to take advantage of Tom's free offer. Go to his website, scalarlight.com and sign up for a free 15 day experience. Um, and, you know, just see what it's like for you. And, you know, you never know, you may, find something in there that really would resonate with you and you may want to move forward and, and look at some of Tom's uh, programs that he offers as well. So, you know, we're kind of circling down to the end of our episode here, but I just want to tell everybody that we are in charge of our health and well-being. We have that power within ourselves and you know, the energy that is in our universe from the sun and the stars is part of who we are. We are of the sun and the stars. And to be able to be realigned with that is huge. It's about tapping into that essence. It's about becoming complete and whole within yourself and just trusting our innate healing abilities so we could be the best that we are. So you've been listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Vizzino, nurse practitioner, energy whisperer, and um, I'm just excited that we have this opportunity to look at what's to come in the future. So I just wish everybody well. I wish you perfect and health and wellness. And just remember, you are worth it and that Continue to move forward on your path one step at a time. And sometimes when it's daunting, just trust the universe. Because that's all there is to do now is just trust. Everything is there for us. So see you next time and have an amazing week. Take care. Thank you for listening to The Dr. Dolores Show. Dr. Dolores returns Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific 
on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and create your best life. You are worth it.